Hey everyone, it's Mr. Montgomery again with a brand new lesson. We're in the next lesson of our math unit. We're in unit 8. We're in lesson 5 today. And I'm going to start things off just a little bit different. You don't have to write this down what's on the screen. I know it looks a little plain, but just bear with me for a second. So, we have the number 38, right? Now let me just ask you really quick, which one of these numbers would we put in the tens place? Or we could say, which one of these numbers is already in the tens place? All right, so just point to one of the numbers on the screen. Just point to one of them. Is it the three or the eight that is in the tens place? It is the three. So in this box where it says tens, I can write the three. And so that, that means that the 8 is in the 1's place. And I'll write that in the box right here. Oh, that's not a very pretty 8. Let me make a prettier one. There we go. It's better. So when just remember, guys, I'm going to be saying this a lot. Whenever we have a two-digit number, that means when we have two numbers that are put together to make a bigger number, we call them a two-digit number. The first number that we see is our tens, okay? And then the second number that we see is our ones, all right? That, and that will never, ever change. But let me ask you one more question before we move on. Is there another way we could write three tens and eight ones? Do you think there's another way? Let me let me uh, show you this real quick. If I draw a shape like this, what has this ha what has this meant uh, in the past couple lessons? If we draw like this long thin rectangle, what does that usually mean? It kind of it usually means that you know we have a set of ten, right? That usually means ten equals ten, and then. Uh, We've also been using this other shape, right? Little squares, and this usually, every time we see one of these, that means one. So one rod or tower equals ten, and one little square equals one. So we're going, we can do something really, really similar, but instead of making these uh, bulky shapes, we're going to change them up just a little bit. Uh, so instead, for a ten, we can just draw sticks. And we're going to pretend that in every stick, there is 10 cubes connecting them all the way from top to bottom. So for three tens, we could make three sticks. Okay, we can call them 10 sticks. And then for the ones, for the, you know, for our eight ones, instead of cubes, we can just make little circles or dots, just like that. Okay, nothing too crazy, right? Either way, uh, when we do our ones, it's just one shape by itself, and it's not connected to anything else. Okay? So I just wanted to go through this really quick before we go into the main part of our lesson today. All right, now let's go to the first part of our lesson. We need to make sure we're on page 341. Okay, 341. And our... Uh, math workbooks So if you're not on this page pause the video find that page in your workbook make sure it's volume 2 not volume 1 volume 2 And if you have this all set we're gonna just roll on through All right, so we're gonna try to solve this little story problem here. It says that Leilani has 28 buttons Draw her button so that a friend can see that there are 28 buttons without counting them one by one. Well, so we're going to use that little method we just talked about by using the uh, tens sticks, right? And the ones circles. Okay, so first we need to look at this number 28 and figure out which number is in the tens place and which number is in the ones place. So, you know, I'm going to write just a little bit bigger. So which one of these numbers in this two-digit number is in the tens place? Is it the 2 or the 8? 
So go ahead, point to the number on your screen, and I'm going to uh, underline it in blue. All right? Do you have your number picked? Okay. So our tens place number is the two, which means that the eight must be in the ones. I'm going to underline this in red. So the blue underline is our tens, and the eight underline number is our ones. So let's try to figure out how many st 10 sticks we need to draw for our 10s. Well, what we do is we look at our 10s place, which we just said is right there, right? It says 2. So if we see a 2 in the 10s place, that means we draw 2 10 sticks. Ready? So we just draw 1, 2. And that's it. Because it's, we're going to use these uh, just like we would counting by tens with our uh, the same thing as our rectangles that we are using. It's the same exact thing. It's a very similar shape, just looks a little different. So we did our tens. We have two in the tens, right? Two sticks. And then how many in the ones? We have eight. So we're just going to go ahead and, and make eight little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we can go ahead and we could actually count these um, just like we would by tens and ones. And we can check our answer and make sure we did it right. So we're going to count these sticks by tens. Ten. 20, all right, and now we continue by ones, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. We, ha we have the same total that we saw up here, okay? Let's try it with just one more number, okay? And for this next number we're going to try, let's see, let me make sure I get my eraser out, okay, erase that. For this next one, make sure that you draw some uh, these two squares with me, okay? Make sure you have a square for our tens place and a square for our ones place, just like you see on the screen. All right. Remember, they don't have to be perfect squares. Just draw a big square, write tens in it, and draw another big square next to it, and write ones in it. Okay, so if you need more time, just pause the video like we always do and take your time uh, writing out the words tens and ones and drawing the squares. But if you are already done that, we're going to keep on rolling. We're going to just keep on rolling through this. Okay, so let's do the same thing with the number. Let's make it a tougher number. Um, let's say, oh, here we go. 52. 52 is a nice big number. Now, how many tens sticks would we make for the number 52? Well, for that, we have to figure out which number is in the tens place. So on your screen, point to the number that's in the tens place. All right, are you, did you pick a number? Are you pointing to one? So I'm about to underline it. Our tens place number is the five. That is in our tens place, because remember, whenever we have a two-digit number, just like the number 52, we have two numbers standing side by side, the first number is always the tens place, always, always, always. It will never, ever change, okay? So how many ten sticks do we have to draw to uh, show 50? Because remember, if we have five in the tens, that means 50, right? Well, we would have to draw a 5, because we have a 5 in the 10s place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, do not get these mixed up with tally marks. I know it can get confusing, okay? We are not going to use these like tally marks, um, be because I don't want you accidentally counting by 1s. So we're just going to put them all in a row like this, okay? Now for our ones, well, since we know that five is in the tens place, that means our 
2 right here is in the 1's place. So if there's a 2 in the 1's place, that means we are going to draw two circles. Two little 1 circles. 1, 2, and that's another way we can show the number 52. 5 10's and 2 1's. So we can even double check our work by counting these by 10's and then continuing on by 1's. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52. So we have, we just counted up to 52, right? And which is the same number over here. We did a great job. So let's go ahead and turn the page in our workbooks and do a couple practice problems. All right, everyone, we should now be on page 342, 342. And at the top of your page, you should see the big yellow number 45 and a boy, you know, trying to make the number 45 with these tens sticks and ones circles. OK, let's go through number one together before you try number two on your own. All right, so you can see for number one, they have the number 17. And first they ask, they're asking, how many tens are there? Well, by when they say how many tens, they're asking what number is in the tens place? And we see that there is a one in the tens place. So we write a one and how many ones? What number is in the ones place? We see a seven. So that's where they got that seven from. Now they're asking, how can we show this number with our ten sticks and one circles? Well, we look up at our tens place and we have a one. So we draw one ten stick. And then how many one circles? Well, we have a seven there, so we draw seven little circles. They do not have to be huge circles. Okay, but this is how they uh, got these answers. So I just like to make sure that I go over this real quick before I let you guys try one all on your own. All right, and we're just tracing these dots. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now, I would love for you guys to try number two all on your own. Get a little practice. All right, so if you are still working, that's okay. Make sure you hit that pause button and take your time. If you are completely done this one already, let's go over it together. So we see, let me change my color here real quick. You can see that we have the number 29. What number is in the tens place? Is it the two or the nine? It's the two because the tens place always comes first in, a, in any two digit number. So we have two tens. How many ones do we have? Well, the ones is always the last digit, and we have a nine. So we put a nine there. Now, how can we draw this with our ten stick and one circles? Well, how many ten sticks do we need? Well, for that to find that out, we just look at what number we have in the tens place, and it's two. So we draw two. 10 sticks. Next, we look at our ones to figure out how many circles we need to draw for our ones place. And we wrote the number nine. So we draw nine circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We stop there because we reached nine. And that is what your answer should look like. We have two sticks and then nine circles. So now if you are not uh, one of the students in my classroom, please stop the video here. Let your teacher know that you are finished and uh, 
ask him or her what they would like you to do next for my friends in my classroom. We are going to move on to our next part of the assignment. Now for the next part of our assignment, make sure you click on our man in the blue box to take us to our Google Classroom, and then click on Classwork, just like we always do. And first, I would like you to do, it says 8-5 Quick Check. There's about four problems here for you to uh, try on your own. And then if you get that, if that's too easy and you get that, that done super quick, you're going to go to the 8-5 Extra Practice, okay? So if this is really, really fast, a little easy for you, you can go into the Extra Practice right here, and it'll take you on to the IXL website. And it's going to look just like this, where um, it's going to say, type the missing numbers. They want you to break this number down into its parts. How many tens does it have? Well, we look at the tens place. There's a nine. So I type a nine. And then how many ones? I look at the ones place. There's a six. So I type a six. And that's it. And some of them, we have to put the numbers together. If we have two tens and one one, what big number does it make? Well, just remember, two in the tens place. So we type two. And then a 1 in the 1's place. We type a 1. Okay, and don't forget, if you accidentally type in the wrong answer, let's say I accidentally typed in uh, the wrong answer here, it's going to say, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me show you what was incorrect about it. And it shows you everything. It'll even tell you what, what happened, what mistake you made. Okay, just make sure you click on the sound buttons right here and it will read it to you okay and that's it so i hope this video helped if you're confused about anything please let me know i will be happy to help you or if i'm in the middle of uh still teaching the lesson please just be respectful to the other students still learning and feel free to listen in and hopefully it will help resolve any questions okay so as always guys i hope you had fun i hope you enjoy this and I will see you next time. Have a good day.